I spent 100 hours making this DIY fourth axis and I did it for less than $1,000. Tormach charges an ungodly amount for their fourth axis unit and, and I thought I could do it for cheaper. After spending years as a self-taught machinist, uh, I thought I was finally ready to try and build my own. But before we get too far ahead of ourselves, what exactly is a fourth axis? Why would you ever spend a thousand dollars on one? A fourth axis enables significantly more advanced work holding techniques and fixturing. One of the biggest improvements is tombstones. A tombstone like this one will let you run way more parts per cycle, but it also reduces the number of tool changes and operations needed for a given part. All translates to reduced cycle times. That means less time spent indicating parts and more time spent drinking shop beers. Now how do you actually go about building a fourth axis? Well, you break it down to the major components. It consists of a spindle, a motor, a powertrain to connect the two, and a stepper driver to power the motor. Now the fundamentals of this setup come from a forum post where one legendary user described his experience building a backlash free fourth axis and they went through excruciating detail about all of their gear ratios and the motors they used and the hardware and the electronics and I'll spare you the trouble the key component that we want to talk about was the, the use of a harmonic drive. Now for those of you like me who have no idea what a harmonic drive is, let me explain. Uh, well, just let harmonic drive themselves explain. The externally toothed flex spline takes on the elliptical shape of the wave generator and is widened conically in the process. The joining of the circular spline creates a permanent preload in the gear meshing area which keeps the gear backlash free throughout its entire service life. The rotation of the wave generator causes a permanent tooth engagement between the flex spline and the circular spline. Two additional teeth in the circular spline cause a relative movement of the flex spline. This enables zero backlash motion transmission with high torque and low speed. A fourth axis is kind of the perfect, perfect application for a harmonic drive. The compact 51 to 1 gear ratio, all built around crossed roller bearings, is, I mean, it's almost as though it was built specifically for a fourth axis. And, I mean, it almost was. It was. These were designed for robot arms that need zero backlash precision, just like a fourth axis. Now, if we can combine a 51 to 1 harmonic drive with a 34 to 120 belt ratio, we end up with a thousand steps per degree of rotation. Now that means micron precision, well beyond anything that I would be able to measure. But it also translates to micron speeds. This thing takes forever to get around the clock. All this time and money we spent trying to increase productivity and now I'm standing here staring at this thing spin. Now I spent $700 on this build from top to bottom. We spent $250 on a Chinese harmonic drive knockoff, $200 on aluminum, and then we spent $50 each on the belt and pulleys, the stepper motor, the stepper driver, the hardware, the nuts and bolts, and the wiring and connectors. Now that is more than $2,000 less than the equivalent Tormach MicroWark. But you're going to have to pay for that somewhere. If you couldn't already tell, 
this thing kind of sucks. I mean, it it works, it holds parts, and it does integrate seamlessly with the Tormach Pathpilot. But it's so slow, and half the bolts aren't even accessible. Hell, you, you can't even bolt this thing to the table. Clearly, it needs a lot more tuning and design work. And it is definitely not going to work in this state. This kind of project is not for the faint of heart. If you need something to run parts right now reliably for a job you already have, you better be prepared to just shell out for the Tormach version. But if you have an unlimited amount of patience and you're willing to spend the time to build your own, you can get to an equivalent performance of the Tormach for $2,000 less. If you're interested in trying to follow along and build your own, uh, the forum posting and a link to my design will be in the description. I don't regret embarking on this journey one bit. Uh, even though I have not ended up with a functional fourth axis, it's been a really fun project. And I've strengthened my chops on this new Tormach. And once we get to making chips, I am really excited to get to make my own tombstone.